This has always been one of my childhood dreams, to come back home to Africa to see for myself, not what they put in the books. I'm just here to learn and, and learn and immerse myself in the Nigerian culture. The experience for the African Americans kicked off with a brief lecture delivered by a culture expert, Patrick Oronsai. He discussed the ancient buildings of Benin, highlighting their demography, unique residents, as well as the traditional guide system. The culture expert also dwelt on some iconic pre-colonial events, as well as wars for which the empire was famous. This is the section of the city where we have the iron smelters. Yeah, they smelt, and we take them to the room where they are converted into farming implements and weapons of war. And I think more American people need to learn to study other cultures before they can put them down and belittle them. The tourists were then taken around important sites, including the King Square and Museum. In spite of a tropical downpour, the tourists took on the delights of the famous bronze castings of Benin. You know, I'm here, and a lot of the folks who are here with me are here to, to learn our history and to find out where we come from. You need to make a trip here to Nigeria. It's worth it, it's educational, and it's a trip of a lifetime. The top of the bill was the opportunity to pay homage to the Obar of Benin. Commissioner for Arts, Culture, Tourism and Diaspora Affairs, Osaze Osemige Ero, led the tourists into the presence of the monarch. Some of our travelers are here for the first time in Africa, so we really want to make them uh, learn about the culture and meet the people so that they can understand about the heritage. We like to say that uh, we have an opportunity to partner with uh, whatever talent you want and acquire the things in the Americas. Economic development, socio-political development uh, of your roots we will be much, very much delighted to, uh, to have your cooperation in that regard. This Back to Africa event coincides interestingly with the renewed efforts by the Obaseki administration to encourage tourism in Edo states. This synergy could produce important results. In Benin, Chikodi Obi, NTA News.